Suphanburi is a province and a town easily accessible from Bangkok. The journey takes you through central Thailand, along the highway and past many picturesque rice fields. Did I mention the rice fields? As you approach the city limits of Suphanburi, you'll notice one thing that the street lights, well, they're a lot different to what you find along the rest of the roads. Suphanburi is uh, about 50, 60 kilometers away from Bangkok, not so far and worth a visit. Blessed with wide tree-lined avenues, the town has benefited from the patronage of a certain well-known diminutive Prime Minister. Interesting fact, it is also sometimes referred to as the Thai Nashville, since it is an important centre for the Luktung or Thai country music industry. Supanburi province and town is only about an hour and a half's drive from Bangkok. And if you're going to start your tour, I would say do it in the middle of town where the Banham Jamsai Tower is right behind me. Also go and have a look at the impressive Dragon Museum and also don't miss out on the Sam Chuk Market, which is the 100 year old marketplace. Now, if you want to stretch your tour from being just a day trip to something overnight, also we found an interesting place to stay. It's Ban Amun and you can stay overnight in a shipping crate. The Banham Jamsai Tower is just one of the attractions of Suphanburi and of the weird and wonderful variety, you cannot miss out on the Dragon Descendants Museum. The museum was designed to showcase the unique history of the Chinese people together with their culture and wisdom. Built in the shape of an impressive and huge dragon, it also has a celestial village with many iconic Chinese statues. Thailand and China have a long history together. In fact, it goes back several hundreds of years when the first Chinese immigrants came to Thailand. Now, the relationship has been mutually beneficial, and this museum is the Dragon Museum, which is built to celebrate 20 years of actual diplomatic ties with China. Not really the kind of normal museum where you wander around by yourself, as you have to join one of the tours that leave regularly between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. The multimedia experience is unique as it takes you through the history of the Chinese civilization through the use of light and sound shows. About 20 minutes from the city center is the famed Sam Chuk 100 years old market. A century ago, Sam Chuk was a renowned center for waterborne trade and commerce, when the rivers and canals were Siam's main mode of transport. But today, times have changed and the old town's way of life has changed accordingly. The locals formed a conservation society and restored the market to its former glory, complete with wooden shop houses, retaining its authentic Thai style. And in 2009, the Sam Chuk Old Market received an award of merit in the annual UNESCO Asia Pacific Heritage Awards for cultural heritage and conservation. Visitors can explore the traditional shops or enjoy tasting local foods or sipping old-fashioned local-style coffee. Now, did I mention the giant balls? The 100 years old market here at Sapanburi is famous for its pork balls. Now, if you look at these ones, they're fairly much the regulation-style pork balls that you can find anywhere in Thailand, but they're moving up to a little bit bigger. And a little bit bigger. But we're going to go for this, the Big Daddy Meatballs. After my experience of feasting on huge pork balls, I sought out a little culture, and fortunately for me, a local school band were performing traditional Thai music. Pretty sure it helped my digestive process. Thank you. 
that exploring had me ready to seek out some accommodation for the evening, and in Ban Amon, I found something a little unusual. As mentioned earlier, this resort provides rooms in shipping crates. And as you can see, they were both stylish and comfortable. I caught up with the owner, Korn Amon. ทำเป็นที่พักอาศัยเพื่อขายครับผมแต่ทีนี้พอทําเป็นที่พักอาศัยเราก็ต้องการโชว์รูมเราต้องการโชว์รูมเราก็ทําให้มันเป็นรีส